Director Brian Singer took to his Twitter account yesterday to announce that they've casted newcomer Lena Condor as Jubilation Lee, a.k.a. Jubilee, in the upcoming X-Men Apocalypse. The character of Jubilee appeared in the first three X-Men films where she was portrayed by two different actresses, always in a significantly minor role. Mark, buy or sell this statement. Jubilee will play a more significant role in X-Men Apocalypse than she did in the original three films. I'm going to buy it because she really couldn't have less of an impact than she had <laughs> in the other films. Uh, and I mean, who you, else is going to put the apple on Professor Charles's <laughs> desk? Huh? Who else is going to dress like 2015 Marty McFly? You know, <laughs> I think that, that she actually could have a very positive impact on the team if you're going up against Apocalypse. Because if you forget about the vampire storylines with yeah, Jubilee, she's a vampire. But now. she also has a lot of telekinetic stuff she can do, and she's immune to some of that stuff. That if other people, if I'm trying to get in your head, she can say, no, you, she can block that out. So I think that her power, her skill set, could lend itself to being useful for the team going up against Apocalypse. I sell the statement because I think Brian Singer, as great as he's done, one of the things he's done in his X-Men films is, is populated with a lot of mutants that don't even have a line and yeah. just, he likes look there's that guy and look there's the frog dude and look there's this dude and look there's Jubilation Lee and they've had her in there three times mm. I, I don't have any reason to believe and the fact that he's casted a complete newcomer yeah. um, doesn't do much to make me think oh Jubilee's really going to have a major role to play in this one it's going to be her and Apocalypse at the end <laughs> it's squaring <laughs> off against each other so I'm going to sell the statement Maud. Um, I mean, Jubilee's always been the sidekick. She's always been the youngest mutant member and you know, everyone kind of looks after her, which is kind of what they did with Rogue initially in the yeah, first Wolverine. Yeah. Um, but what they uh, used to do with the franchise was also change and tweak a few things to make it better for the movies, like the fact that Wolverine and uh, Sabretooth mm -hmm. are brothers. <laughs> I was uh, I swear the only one in Australia watching that movie being like, no, <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you understand? Um, that's what I sound like when I'm really upset about something. I can't wait to take you to the new Smurfs movie. We're going to have a lot of fun. That's the voice that almost came out when I talked about Ready Player One and how bad it was. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly it. Um, Jubilee's, yeah, she's always been the kind of, uh, oh, you've got PAF powers and PAF abilities. <laughs> like, she's a, she's a butt of a lot of jokes because her, you know, she just doesn't have awesome, cool powers. Um, so having her in a major role here, maybe the underdog saves the day. Maybe she's like, PAF, PAF, what, what's going to happen? PAF, yeah. yeah. I'm not saying she's going to be the star, by the way. I just think, I think she's going to have more of a role to play. Like, I think if some, like what Kitty was in yeah, X-Men okay. Days of Future Past, where it's not a huge role, but she's a major player. She's a conduit to something like sending Wolverine back in time. I think yeah. that her telekinetic abilities could come into play. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.